subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. From the oldest specimen of animal sperm ever discovered to the changing storms on Jupiter, on Scientifics, we bring you some of the top science stories of the week from across the globe. This week, scientists at Queen Mary University of London and Chinese Academy of Sciences have discovered the world's oldest animal sperm inside a tiny insect trapped in amber around 100 million years ago in Myanmar. The sperm was found in a new species of crustacean, which is a subgroup that includes animals like lobsters, prawns and crabs. The team predicts that the animals had sex just before their entrapment in the piece of amber. Fossilized sperm are exceptionally rare and the oldest known examples so far are about 17 million years old. The study has implications for understanding the evolutionary history of an unusual mode of sexual reproduction. The team was also able to make detailed 3D reconstructions of the animals which are less than a millimetre long. Meanwhile, melting ice sheets in Greenland and Antarctica could together contribute to more than 15 inches of sea level rise by the end of this century if greenhouse gas emissions are not reduced. More than 60 scientists from across the globe came together to estimate how the Earth's melting ice sheets could impact global sea levels. Water from ice sheets contribute to about a third of the total global sea level rise. With warming air temperatures melting the surface of the ice sheet and warming ocean temperatures causing ocean terminating glaciers to retreat, Greenland's ice sheet is a significant contributor to sea level rise. The team investigated two different scenarios for future climate to predict sea level rise between 2015 and 2100, one with carbon emissions increasing rapidly and another with lower emissions. In the high emission scenario, they found that the Greenland ice sheet would lead to an additional global sea level rise of about 3.5 inches by the end of the century. In the lower emission scenario, the loss from the ice sheet would raise global sea levels by about 1.3 inches. On the other hand, the Antarctic ice sheet may be responsible for up to 7.1 inches of sea level rise by 2100 in the warmest conditions. This is over and above the impact of warming temperatures between pre-industrial times and now. Also this week, a team has discovered a set of footprints in Saudi Arabia, including those of humans, elephants and horses, among other animals, dating back to roughly 120,000 years ago. The discovery represents the earliest stated evidence for human movements into this part of the world. The movement of humans and large mammals also give clues about the climatic conditions in the region. Because the Arabian Peninsula is characterized by large, hyperarid deserts, inhospitable to early humans and the animals they relied on, Arabia in the past has not thought to have been vital to understanding human prehistory. However, emerging evidence shows that in the past, these deserts may have been transformed into grasslands with permanent freshwater lakes and rivers. The recently discovered footprints were found at a site that was an ancient lake. Researchers were able to identify a number of animals from the footprints, including elephants, horses and camels. The dense concentration of footprints and evidence from the lake sediments suggests that the animals may have been congregating around the lake in response to dry conditions and diminishing water supplies. Humans too may have been utilizing the lake for water and the surrounding area for foraging. These findings highlight the importance of Arabia for the study of human prehistory. Also this week, scientists have found why Australia's stringing trees can cause pain that sometimes lasts for weeks. According to researchers from University of Queensland, the toxin produced by these trees are very similar to those produced by spiders and scorpions. The leaves of the tree, known as Gimpy Gimpy, are covered with fine hair-like needles that inject toxins into the skin. Getting stung by the tree first causes an intense burning. After several hours, a throbbing pain develops in the affected area which may last for days or even weeks. 
Studying the molecular structure of the venom, researchers found that the toxin has a tangled form that allows it to repeatedly target pain receptors in the victim. Understanding how this toxin works can help find treatments that can ease the pain for those who have been stung by the plant. In some news from the space, Hubble Space Telescope has beamed back the latest image of Jupiter taken in August this year, which reveals interesting new features from the monster planet's atmosphere. The image reveals a new storm brewing and a cousin of the famous Great Red Spot region gearing up to change colour again. At mid-northern latitudes of the gas giant, a bright, white, stretched-out storm travelling around the planet at 560 km per hour has formed. While it's common for storms to pop up in this region every six years or so, the Hubble observations show the early stages of evolution of the storm. Trailing behind the plume are small rounded features with complex red, white and blue colours. The image also shows that the great red spot rolling counterclockwise in the planet's southern hemisphere now measures about 9,800 miles across, big enough to swallow the Earth. The superstorm is still shrinking as noted in telescopic observations dating back to 1930, but the reason for its dwindling size is still a mystery. Another feature that the researchers are noticing has changed is Oval BA, a storm nicknamed by astronomers as Red Spot Junior, which appears just below the Great Red Spot in this image. For the past few years, Red Spot Junior has been fading in colour to its original shade of white after appearing red in 2006. However, now the core of this storm appears to be darkening slightly. This could hint that the Red Spot Junior is on its way to turning into a colour more similar to its cousin once again. Hubble's image also shows that Jupiter is clearing out its higher altitude white clouds, especially along the planet's equator, where an orangish hydrocarbon smog wraps around it. The image is a part of yearly maps of the entire planet that look for changes in their storms, winds and clouds. This is Mohan Abbasu for The Print. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates.